In this video, we're going to continue talking about how to be really transparent when communicating uh, numbers in science. Uh, and now we're going to talk about conversions um, and how to make sure that you don't lose the information that you've recorded in reporting a number if you manipulate it mathematically. So a conversion is when we report a measurement with a different unit than it was measured in. Um, and so we'll go through a conversion to change the unit. Uh, so an example would be, let's say I measure something that is 0 0.031 grams. Uh, and I report it as 31 milligrams. So I am going through a conversion process of changing my unit from grams to milligrams. And these numbers are the same. They are the same amount. They're the same mass, but they're being communicated in a different unit. So uh, the way that uh, we usually set up conversion problems um, is with a problem solving strategy that we call dimensional analysis. You'll also see it called factor label method as well. Um, and using dimensional analysis, we can set up a conversion problem uh, to make sure that we are correctly uh, multiplying or dividing by the conversion factor. The conversion factor is the, the number that will convert a value from grams into milligrams or liters into deciliters, right? There's a ton of these or inches into feet, right? So um, in dimensional analysis, units are gonna be treated as if they're variables. Um, so that way they can be algebraically manipulated. So they can be multiplied, divided and canceled just like a variable is in algebra. Uh, and so conversion factors then are going to really be used to manipulate uh, or used to change a number from one unit to another. And we'll use dimensional analysis and units to kind of set up how that calculation should look. So uh, conversion factors um, basically are going to just be descriptions of equalities. Um, and so let's walk through kind of an example, continuing this idea of 0.031 grams is equal to 31 grams. So uh, we're using a equality or a conversion factor where one gram is equal to 1000 grams. Now we could write this another way and it would mean the exact same thing that 0.01 gram is equal to one milligram. These are essentially the same and you can plug them into a calculator and kind of figure this out. Like if you do one divided by a thousand, it'll equal 0 0.001. So we can write conversion factors as equalities, but we can also write them as fractions. And so we can write this one gram equals 1000 milligrams as either one gram divided by 1000 milligrams. And so this would be saying, uh, there are in one gram, there's 1000 milligrams, or we could write it as 1000 milligrams. That's only a hundred divided by one gram. This is also like saying 1000 milligrams is one gram. And so this fraction is what will multiply our measured value by to produce a number that is equivalent, but has different units. Um, and so in the case of our example, our measured unit was the 0 0.031 grams. Our conversion factor is the uh, one gram time is equal to 1000 milligrams in a fraction. And we're trying to get to a new unit of milligrams. And so we are going to choose a fraction version of our conversion factor based on the, the units that we're trying to uh, calculate and the ones that we have. And we're gonna make sure that for our measured unit, the measured unit is on the bottom of our conversion fraction.
faction, sorry, conversion fraction. And the new unit is on the top. So this would look like 0 0.031 grams times, uh, we were gonna want our new unit to be milligrams. So we're gonna use, let me use a different color, this conversion factor here. So this will be times 1000 milligrams divided by one gram. Now, if I were to multiply this all together, I could actually combine this to be 0 0.031 times 1000 divided by one. And the units for this would be grams times milligrams divided by grams. Uh, using this idea that anything that's the same on the top and the bottom of a fraction, we can cancel. We can then cancel out the grams here and we're only left with milligrams. This right here, I'll plug into my calculator. And I'll get this answer right here, 31 milligrams. So this is really useful. Um, I think a lot of us do conversions in our head for a simple um, kind of short, small ones or things that we're really used to, like maybe some conversions in the kitchen. Um, and, and so this is a way to formalize the process when we're kind of outside our comfort zone. Um, and give us a tool to figure out if I'm multiplying by a conversion factor or dividing by a conversion factor um, to determine like how to get to a new unit. Um, and since when we're in the lab, we're usually outside our comfort zone, uh, this can be a really handy tool.